Today, we're going to walk you through a higher education demonstration that focuses on lead scoring in the university context. We'll show how an Einstein discovery model can be leveraged to build actionable steps in Salesforce and thereby used by admissions professionals to turn potential students into enrolled students. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to take the role of an enrollment advisor working many student leads at once. So I work for the fictional yet fabled Faber University. We wanted to estimate the likelihood of a potential student enrolling at Faber. Our potential students render as leads when they fill out an online form and express interest in matriculating into the school. After the form is submitted, an enrollment advisor calls the potential students to continue the connection. To determine the best route that enrollment advisors should take in relation to each student, we built a logistic regression model in Einstein Discovery using continuously updated data from our touch points with the potential students. Some of the factors we looked at were student motivation, the student initiated contact, number of touch points, enrollment indicators, such as submission of a housing application or a scholarship application, and contact attrition, or how long has it been since our last positive communication with this individual. After building the model, we learned that the key factors that contribute to a lead score are desired profession, current profession, and the disposition of first contact. As an enrollment advisor, I use this analytics dashboard to visually conceptualize my leads. On the top left-hand side, we see total leads by desired profession. Looking at this graph, we see that across all desired professions, most potential students are interested in business. We can also hover over any of the bar segments and see the number of leads associated with each disposition. On the right-hand side, we see a distribution of scores across all potential students. The lead scores derived from our model are broken into low, medium, and high-scoring leads. Looking at this light blue segment, I see that 9.1 thousand of our leads score in the medium category. If we click on any segment of either of the top graphs, the entire dashboard facets to reflect what we've chosen. For example, scores in the medium range. Clicking again, we return to the entirety of the data. Lucky for me, the next section will help me move these leads. Here at the bottom, I see lists of low, medium, and high scoring leads. We can perform bulk actions directly from the dashboard based on these lists. For medium scored leads, we can add to a nurture campaign. For high scored leads, we can click here and add to a call list both capabilities permitting us to take action to increase the student's chances of enrollment. We'll focus for a moment on Abbott Saunders to get an idea of what this looks like for an individual lead. On the left, we have current information about Abbott. On the right, we have a lightning card that provides insight into Abbott's propensity to enroll. Abbott's enrollment advisor is my colleague at Faber University, Paul. Paul will take a look at the lightning card to determine the next best steps in relation to Abbott. Abbott's current propensity to enroll is 56.96%. This was calculated by the logistic regression model we built in the back end of Einstein. We see the factors that positively contribute to his score, including that his desired profession is business. We see that Abbott's propensity to enroll will go up if we contact him additional times, such as scheduling weekly follow-ups with him. When we record these contacts, Abbott's score automatically recalculates and displays on his lightning card with updated insights and actions to increase his score further. If Abbott submits a housing application and we record this here, we see his score change even more. Now Paul knows to hit the phones to move Abbott towards enrollment. Today we saw how a logistic regression model can be used to understand enrollment propensity. 
we surfaced the model on a record page and we used it to take action directly from the user interface. Contact the Atrium team to find out how we can help you implement similar processes.